Hey guys, today we're going to be doing swatches and a review of the Sation glitters that I showed you in my last haul video. If you missed that video, I will put it somewhere on the screen and I will link it down below for you as well. So make sure you go and check that out. So unfortunately, due to time constraints, I have them all on a nail wheel. Um, I did not put them on my fingers and actually give you swatches. Um, there's a lot going on in my life right now, so yeah. I'll have to tell you guys about that later. But for right now, um, I did do each one on its own, and then I did it over white and over black. Now, these are kind of, you know, they're kind of like, like cleary white plastic anyway, but the white did change how it looked, so I wanted to see like how it would affect it. Um, and some of these applied, you know, pretty easily. Some had a little bit more um, issues. So we will talk about um, each one. But the thing I wanna say first is I'm surprised like how almost different all of these kind of are. Um, I expected them to be a lot more similar in terms of formula and some of them are pretty similar, but some of them have a lot of differences too. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite first and that is this one here. I mean, I do have lots of bottle shots and close-up pictures to show you guys. This is called Rich in Opportunities, and this one has holographic gold, larger and smaller bars. We've got white, matte, and yellow hexes. We've also got holographic, holographic gold hexes in here as well. So this is what this one looks like. And again, I've got pictures to show you. Um, but this one is probably the least dense in glitter. I don't particularly like all the gold. I don't really like the bar glitters. Um, and I don't know if you can see like in the top of the bottle, you can kind of see um, how much base there is kind of floating on the top. So this one doesn't have as much glitter as some of the others. Um, and then here in the swatch, um, on this side here, that's just one coat just on its own. This is two over white and two over black to give you an idea of how those look. Again, I'll insert pictures as well, but I thought, you know, to see kind of the holographic, you should look in here as well. So my least favorite, um, not very dense in glitter, don't really like how it looks, kind of mad to me. And as you can see on the white, like the yellow, the base is definitely tinted yellow from the glitter. It's not a clear base at all. So I just, you don't need this one. Rich in Opportunities is not rich in glitter. Let's talk about this one next because this one um, is also not the best in glitter coverage. This one is called Most Unique. And this one, by the way, I'm gonna list all the polishes down below for you guys. Um, this one has like light, like fine iridescent glitters. There's also like some baby blue bars and then there looks like some purple holographics and some light blue um, holographics in here as well. I'm sorry, no, the purples are not holographic, they're just metallic, and the light blue are holographic. So the problem that I have with this one is that you don't really get very many of the purple glitters, and you mainly just get a lot of the micro iridescent glitter. This one isn't crazy with the glitter coverage either. I mean, this is just one coat on its own. You'll see like you get a lot of that iridescent fine glitter, but like those bars and those and the hexes, you don't really get. I mean, here's two coats over white and you can still see you have hardly any of those um, hexes, which I think it'd be a lot prettier if you had a lot more hexes. Now over black, it does look really, really pretty here. This is two coats, but again, Iridescent glitter looks amazing over black and you can really see how much of the fine micro glitter you're getting, but you're not getting a whole lot of the hexes. So while I still think it's pretty, um, I wish that this had more glitter in it, more of the purple glitter anyway. And then the other thing I wanted to say about both of these is that you don't really have to sponge it on because the glitter isn't super dense so you don't have to really sponge it because it just kind of applies on its own so I guess that's kind of a plus but you just I mean you can kind of see in the back you just don't have a ton of those purple hexes and I wish we had more this one surprised me a little bit more than I thought this one is called money badger and this is like a very orangey yellowy coppery kind of vibe um, we have let me see if I can tell better on the swatch we've got micro 
metallic orange. We've got yellow shards. We've got um, orange hexes, blue hexes, and like some other random colors. We've got some hexes in a couple different sizes. There's white. There's just some different things going on in this one. It's kind of just some a lot of randomness happening in this bottle. And this one does have good glitter coverage. I am pleased with that. Um, and I'm surprised, like I said, it really makes me think of fall and like a Thanksgiving. I think this would be really, really cool. Um, and this one, the glitter payoff wasn't horrible. So here we've got, this is two coats on its own, just so you can see, you can kind of build it up. This is just one coat over white and one coat over black. So, I mean, really, you only really need one coat if you don't want it to be super glittery. Um, this one I did not have to dab a whole lot. This one did kind of go on pretty easily as on, on its own. You do, do need a little bit of dabbing, but for the most part, I think that these work pretty well just with the brush, like normal application. Now, this next one has a horrible problem with it sinking, and I said that in my haul. This is called Go Glitter Girl, and I actually really, really like this glitter. It is, it's supposed to be a clear base, but you can obviously see it's tinted green. Um, so we've got matte blue shards. Um, we also have silver holographic hexes and white, um, uh, white hexes as well. We also have uh, micro white glitters in here too. So again, this one you really definitely want to leave upside down if you're going to be using it and because all the glitter definitely does sink. It does come back up to the top. Um, and as long as you turn it upside down, I'm surprised actually with how much glitter you do get out of the bottle, but it's still kind of annoying that this is like the only one that did that. Again, we do have a tinted base, so it kind of changed how it looked on here. Um, so this is one coat on its own and one coat over white. And just to kind of see what it would look like, I did two coats over the black, so you could see the difference. Um, I did have to do dabbing with this one, but I really do like it, and I'm surprised, like I said, how much glitter I was actually able to get, considering how much it sunk. Um, I really, really like this glitter. I think it looks like an indie glitter. Even though this one, you can definitely see it has like a green tinge to it, that doesn't really bother me a whole lot, especially if you're gonna put it over a different color besides white i don't think it really be that noticeable i mean in the black i don't think you can tell at all so i do think it's something you can easily disguise and i really i like the shards i just like this overall look i think it's summery and it's also kind of springy and just kind of a fun polish this one i really really like this is called tall dark and has some and this has micro silver holographic glitters um they're not really metallic but they're not really matte either um, blue shards and we've got different size or maybe just no we've got different size of black hexes we got a really small hex and we've got a larger hex in there as well so here you can kind of see how that looks I really like the holographic in this one I and this one is super super dense with glitter you only need one coat with this one for sure it's so pretty and so awesome Again, just so you can see the difference, here's one coat on its own. We've got two coats over white and two coats over black. Now I know it has those black glitters and those kind of get lost, obviously, when you put it over black, but still, I really like how it looks over black. It's so deep and it's dark. And the blue, though, it kind of looks like, like a chameleon a little bit. I don't know, and definitely two coats. I mean, one you can even be happy with, but two you get nice glitter coverage. You do have to dab, um, so this might be a good one you want. You might want to use a sponge with if you can't get it to work. But dabbing with a brush was just fine for me. And then this last one, I think, is probably, if I had to pick a favorite, this one would be my favorite. This is Ego Friendly. And this one, again, really jam-packed with glitter. We've got Micro Green Metallics. We've got white matte hexes, black shards, and lime green shards, which just scream my name. And I really, really, really like the combo of these colors. I, I really like the metallic um, mini, mini, micro green glitters paired with the lime green. I just think they're so cool and different in a, you know, like a combination you don't always see. And here they are, um, we've got two coats on their own, one coat over white and one coat over black. Again, I know you're gonna lose the black shards over black, but I still think it looks so cool over black. And I like it over white. I do like it with two coats a little bit better, but that's just because I really like glitter. 
but oh, I just think this would look so awesome over so many different colors and it's just so pretty. I just really like this a lot. So overall, I'm very happy with these glitters. Like I mentioned in my haul, it is a little discouraging because they have 20, I think it was 24 is the amount that they have. And you can't tell what they are. And like I said, it's almost impossible to find swatches. So I'm just kind of guessing like this one, had I known what it really looked like, the Rich in Opportunities, I don't think I would have purchased it because it's just not my kind of glitter. But at the same time, these were, $2.99 a bottle, $3.50, something like that. I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, so the price point is fair. I got these from Trans Design, I believe. I will make sure if that's not correct, I'll let you guys know. But overall, I do like them. I think the price point is fair and some of them are really cool and really different and really unique. And I'm really excited that you can find some really cool different kind of glitters like that for inexpensive and not have to go get indies. So for that, I definitely say, I, you know, you should go check them out and see. Um, I do think I'm gonna do another order and get six more glitters. So it's kind of gonna be random and be a surprise. So please leave me a comment or thumbs up if you want me to do that and do more of these glitters. If you're someone that likes glitter, I do think that these would be fun. Um, if you're someone that maybe just getting starting with glitter and you don't wanna spend the money on indies but you wanna try some different types of glitters, I think these would be really fun too because they're fun to experiment with and there's something, like I said, that you don't always see. So that's gonna conclude this video. It was pretty cut and dry. I don't have too many crazy things to say. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have swatches on my fingers, but I mean, these are so good swatches, I think. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram and all that other kind of fun stuff I've got listed down below for you. And until next time, peace, love, and polish. Bye.